Hey guys, it's Cassie here and today I'm going to be sharing with you my second tutorial on how to create a makeup look for girls with hooded eyes. So by hooded eyes, I mean Asian eyes. So as you can see, my eyelid is um, folded over in the at the front over there. And it's really hard to do makeup looks sometimes when you watch people with a full crease because you know obviously as Asians we don't have that much lid space to work with so if you're interested in watching how I did the smoky mossy green kind of a look then just stay tuned hello guys so here we have my ugly ass face and first thing I'm gonna do is use this velcro thing I got from Asia and I'm just gonna stick it on my head to keep my bangs up um, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline primer in 100 and I'm just going to go ahead applying that all over my face and blending it out. Next I'm going to take this Sephora foundation, it's great for dry skin. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my beauty blender and using that while it's damp I'm going to go ahead and blend everything together. Now using this Maybelline Better Skin Concealer, I'm just going to dot it all over my face and then I'm going to use that same old beauty blender and blend it in. This is the RCMA powder, um, I love it so much and what I usually do is I take a little sponge, pour it in a separate container and I just go ahead and apply that on my face. The reason why I do this is because the packaging of this sucks. And now on to one of the most crucial parts, my eyebrows. I'm using the Sephora um, eyebrow pencil. I absolutely love this one. I think it's a really good alternative from the Anastasia Beverly Hills one because those usually go for like $36 or so, but this one was only, I believe, $16. So that's like half the price and it works just as well. Taking that angled brush, I'm just gonna blur out the inner corners. Now moving on to my eyes, I'm going to be using this Urban Decay Primer, applying that all over my eyelids and then using this mossy green color. I'm just going to go ahead using my finger and I'm just going to pat that on because I think it gives it the best payoff using your fingers. To soften the edges, I'm going to be using the color Naked 2. Taking this Morphe brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend out those harsh edges. Take your time on this, work your way up, and just keep blending in small little circles. Taking this smudge brush, just bring that color you did on the top and bring it down to the bottom lid. Taking this Y22 brush, I'm going to take the lightest color Venus and I'm going to place that in my inner corners so I can brighten up my eye. Now it's time to brush off that craziness so I'm going to go ahead and do that with a big fluffy Sephora brush. And taking the Kat Von D liner, I'm just going to go ahead and give myself a beautiful cat wing eye. black eyeliner just darken the bottom eyelid a little bit more taking a big fluffy morphe brush use the color foxy and highlight your brow bones now I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara to the top and bottom To my favorite part, I'm going to contour my face using this Coco Contour and I'm going to mix both of the medium brown shades and I'm just going to carve in those cheekbones. I'm also going to bring it to the tops of my forehead as well as my jawline and then just a little bit around my lips to create the shape that I want for my face. Using this contour brush, I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. 
To give myself a beautiful glow, I'm going to be using Savannah Colors um, in this beautiful pink shade as well as using the Savannah highlighter and putting that on my cheekbones. And to finish everything off, Kylie Cosmetics in Dulce K. Sorry you guys can't see it here, but it's basically a nice nude shade. And finally, we're gonna set everything with MAC Fix Plus. I love this stuff because I have super dry skin and when I put this on, it just makes me feel so much more moisturized and it locks everything in place. <laughs> 